We learn from World War II, from the occupation of these European countries by Nazi armies, who then forced people to eat very simple foods, that maybe there was the key. Now, our diet has profoundly changed in the last 50, 60 years. I mean, today, we go to supermarkets and we have 30, 40,000 food items that scream at us, take me, and you'll be happy. And we load up our, up our carts, we pile them up, and most of what we eat today is no longer food as it used to be. It's a different kind of food. It's a highly refined food. It's an engineered food. It's made for taste, not for health. And so what we need to do is begin to take a closer look at what is our diet like. Just think about this. If we could move towards a simpler diet, a diet perhaps with less cholesterol, with less animal products, without less of the refined foods, if we could go back to perhaps introduce more foods like vegetables and fruits and whole grain products and beans and lentils and perhaps a few nuts, something can happen. The body begins to repair itself, but the body begins to actually reverse the disease process. This atherosclerotic process, this narrowing, begins to open up again and can widen the arteries, and the arteries can regain some flexibility all over again. It's not so much that we take some medication and treat the symptoms. Yeah, we can lower the cholesterol, we can bring the uh, blood pressure down, uh, we can do something with the blood sugar levels, but that's not the answer. We need to attack the causes of this problem. And the cause have to do with our lifestyle, how we eat, how we drink, how we exercise, you know, how we love, how we handle life. Are we optimistic or pessimistic? But probably nothing is more powerful Nothing trumps these factors like a simple diet.